Welcome to Estes Park High School's Sports Medicine Academy review for the procedures of CPR according to the standards of the American Heart Association. In this video, we will demonstrate the process of cardiopulmonary resuscitation and explain the use of an automated external defibrillator. In the following segment, we will demonstrate the steps of CPR while waiting for emergency services or an AED. Before you begin care, it is important to ensure that the scene is safe after discovering the victim. If possible, quickly determine what happened. Is there any toxin or hazards in the area? How many injured are there? Are there any bystanders that can help? Only provide care if you believe you can do so in a safe manner. Micah? Micah, wake up! Micah? Begin by tapping the victim on the shoulders to attempt to wake them. Check to see if the victim is breathing by placing your ear against the victim's mouth and looking at the chest for breathing. If the victim is unconscious and not breathing, medical help is needed immediately to prevent brain damage or death. Immediately search for a phone or bystander. Mr. Tosky, I need you to run and get the AD and call 911 immediately. Alrighty. To prevent the bystander effect, Make sure to ask a single individual to call 911 and get the AED if available. If you are alone, call 911 and the dispatcher will provide you with instructions. Micah? Micah? When beginning CPR, place your dominant hand flat on the victim's sternum while intertwining your other fingers with the dominant. Begin compressions by pressing down firmly with both hands on the sternum with a quick, steady rhythm. Ideally, your hands should travel one to two inches downwards. You may feel a rib fracture or break. Complete 30 compressions. After 30 compressions, check to see if the victim's airway is clear of obstructions. Begin the rescue breath by pressing down against the forehead and lifting the chin upwards. Pinch the nose and provide two breaths in quick succession ensuring a good seal around the mouth. Repeat this pattern until someone with a higher level of skill can take over, or an AED is made available. CPR will not save someone's life alone. An AED is needed to restore normal heart function. However, never cease compressions for more than a few seconds after starting. This keeps blood and oxygen flowing to the body, and most importantly, to the brain. If you suspect your rescue breaths are not entering the victim, they may be choking. Attempt to clear the airway by first curling your pinky finger into a hook. Then, scrape the back of the throat to clear any obstruction. If the victim vomits while receiving CPR, roll them to the side and then resume CPR as soon as possible. AEDs are extremely simple to use. When opened, they will provide spoken, simplistic instructions. In general, you will perform the following steps. First, remove any clothing or hair where the electrodes are to be placed. A razor will be provided in the AED case. Next, place the electrodes. Allow the machine to analyze the heart's rhythm. If necessary, the machine will prompt you to clear the victim. Clear. Administer the shock and continue CPR until the victim begins breathing or the AED instructs you to stop. Once you arrive at a scene and interfere, you're protected by the Good Samaritan's Law so long as you don't abandon the person you're trying to help. I may perform a CPR for as long as it takes medical professionals to arrive or get to somebody passed out. Just remember, you're training because you could save a life in a situation like these. Thank you for watching this review. We hope that it will help you perform CPR in a life-threatening emergency. If you have further questions, please visit the American Heart Association's website at www.heart.org/cpr or consider registering for a CPR review class in your community.